it is time to go to the grocery store. I need to get, honestly, this is a true weekly grocery run. I'm going to Aldi this week. I've, I've been going to Aldi the past couple of weeks. I have saved so much money. <laughs> it is so much less expensive at the end of the day. And I think another big part of it, beside like the prices being lower, is that I am less tempted to buy things that either aren't on the list or that I just really don't need need because there's not as many options, right? There's like three or four aisles. So I've got my Aldi quota. I've got some, my, my bag of bags, as Tyler and I call it. And yeah, we've got four meals planned to make. Um, I'm actually making the final meal for a future video about like slow cooker dump and go meals where I tried three new ones. So this is the last one. So that video will be coming up soon, but I need to get the ingredients for that. And then also just all of the other things we need for the week for us and for the girls. So that's first up. I'll show you what I got. Also, I wanted to thank Brooklyn and for sponsoring a part of this video. We will get to that later in the video. Let's go to Aldi. Today is crazy. weather is getting real dicey. It was really warm today and I think we have some severe storms coming our way. I was gonna, to be honest, now I'm out of breath. This kind of felt like a strikeout. There are so many things I still need for so many of our meals this week that they didn't have. So I was like, I'm just gonna go to Meyer or some kind of like store nearby that would have the rest of it. But honestly, with the weather being weird, like I think I just want to get back, get the groceries in and get the girls. So that's what we're going to do instead. So that's, this is why like, I love going to Aldi cause you save the money, but there, there's just always a handful of things you can't get. Maybe I should just do like grocery delivery for the rest. Maybe that's what I'll do, but I don't need them tonight. So I'm like, eh, well, I'll figure it out. All right, we are back. So our grand total today was $106. That's not bad. Um, but again, I, Tyler was just here and he just left and was telling him, I'm like, Again, though, this is one of the trips where we need so much else. So he <laughs> literally, as we're talking about it, Tyler was like, you know, maybe there could be a system where like every other week we go to Meyer, Walmart or somewhere or whatever. And then he got quiet and he was like, honestly, I just don't think there's a system. I'm like, I don't think so either. I think you just, you just figure it out week by week. But I, I do love saving all the money. Like all of this would have been double the price anywhere else. So this is in no particular order. Let's start with this, the almonds, pecans, and pistachio kernels. First of all, I love pistachios so much, especially when they're already deshelled. One thing I got at Aldi the other week were these little snack things where it was like half cheese and half nuts. And I think it was like nuts and raisins. And I loved it so much. And I was like, I want to get these again. And then I thought about it. I was like, I can just, I can make my own. Like this is easy enough. So I got some white cheddar. In the pack I really liked, they had um, pepper jack cheese, but I couldn't find all the cubed pepper jack cheese and I wanted to keep it simple. Um, so I figured these mixed nuts, throw in a little bit of raisins and then have some of these, it's like your own little midday snack without having to buy the separate little thing. So I was really excited about that. Also got some sliced cheese for grilled cheese sandwiches for like a lunch this week for the girls. Cottage cheese, my, 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 the, the girls, kill cottage cheese. I do too. I love it. But I mean, it is like they're, they're into it. Trying to be good about doing lots of different fruits. This is pineapple. I would otherwise just get a pineapple, but I saw it actually looked really good. Like it looks sweet and anything right now with very young kids to keep, <laughs> to make my life a little simpler when it comes to that kind of thing. So got some salted butter in quarters. Oh no, it's four sticks. I don't know why seeing salted butter quarters. I was thinking it was like have you ever seen like the half sticks they sell? Anyway, got some of that. I also needed organic beef broth for one of the meals we are making. We were out of spicy brown mustard for sandwiches. Another thing we haven't had in a while are just some wraps. I will eat eggs for lunch or I mean, obviously for breakfast too. Breakfast burritos, but also for lunch, I'll just make eggs and then have some fruit and like carrot sticks on the side. But these look pretty good. I don't think I've ever tried these. It's their brand of their carb control original. I just, I just like these. They're honestly so much like a regular tortilla, you know. Okay. Another thing I'm wanting to try, the girls love yogurt. They're big into dairy. And instead of buying like all the individual cups, I am, I just got a big thing of vanilla 
yogurt. This is the whole milk, which I think will be great for them. Um, just because I'm like, it's gonna taste just as good, then they can just eat it out of their bowl. We'll see how it goes over. You know, I feel like the age that Felicity's at, she will weirdly be like, no, no. Cause she's like one and a half and just doesn't know anything, but knows everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you know, you know what I mean. Got some quick mac and cheese for when we just need quick mac and cheese. I, this is one of my favorite things from Aldi, their little hummus quartet. We are a hummus loving family. All of us love it. So this has the classic hummus, the roasted red pepper, roasted garlic, and cilantro jalapeno. One day we'll have enough time to make hummus ooh, from scratch again, because that is so good. All right, let's get into the rest of this. So we got some almond milk and some whole milk for Miss Felicity. Um, pretty soon she'll be turning two and we'll switch to um, 2%. We are all loving avocado lately. Tyler made some sourdough English muffins and they are so, so good. And I have been loving that with avocado. I will say these all felt so hard and I'm really concerned they're just never gonna ripen or they're gonna take forever. So I kind I almost regret buying them. I should just get them at another store this time. But I bought a bag of avocados from there the last time and they were perfect. So anyway, got some yogurt for Tyler and me. Oh, that's that same yogurt I already showed you. Okay, this is the no judgment zone, okay? Honestly, this just looked good for a quick breakfast, something different. I don't think the girls have ever tried this. Um, <laughs> pancakes and sausage on a stick. I don't know that I've ever tried. I think maybe once when I was younger. So I figured that'd just be kind of a fun breakfast some morning. Uh, got some butter actually for us to take to work. Some zucchini. I'm going to be using this for bulgogi bowls, but also um, I have this recipe for, maybe I'll make it in this vlog, these chocolate zucchini and kale or zucchini and spinach muffins. We made them years ago and they were so good and Jenna was excited to make them with me. So it calls for some zucchini for that too. Um, we we're just out of protein shakes. I'm just trying all kinds of brands. What I really need to do is get back to Costco to get our favorite ones, but we're gonna try these this week. Uh, tomato sauce for a recipe. One of my favorite cereals of all time, Cinnamon Life. Well. What do they call it? Cinnamon Balance. It tastes exactly like the name brand. Some cereals do not, but this one really does. So if you like Cinnamon Life, you can totally do the Aldi one. Got some tofu for the bulgogi bowls this week. This is an amazing deal on extra firm organic tofu. It was like a dollar something. Awesome. Need to get this in the fridge. Some just chicken breast. These are thinly sliced just because that's what they had. Um, one of our meals we make honestly weekly is chicken and sweet potatoes and a veggie. And we already had sweet potatoes and we already had asparagus. So got some chicken and that's our kind of very healthy meal for the week. Got some croutons for salads. And then you're gonna giggle. I got a bunch of these. Cause yet again, these name brands of these can get so expensive. So I just go crazy when I go and I buy a bunch of them. Felicity obviously eats them. Genevieve will sometimes eat these, which I'm not against because they've got some veggies in it and you know, and fruit, why not? Um, and for the price, you can't beat it. Some onions for a couple of the meals. And I think, is that everything? Oh, no, no, no. We also got some grapes, cause that sounded so good. And then some mini bagels. And I, honestly, we never have bagels in the house. I made a recipe the other day that called for some cream cheese and now we have half a thing of cream cheese left and it always ends up going bad. So I was like, I'm gonna get some little bagels for me and the girls and Tyler and enjoy them. So there you go. I think that's everything we got from Aldi this time. Like I said, this was 106 bucks, not bad. Definitely still need a few things, but I'll take it. Also got these, totally forgot. They love these little mini bars and I kind of treat them as a treat for them. And they're pretty good, if I do say so myself. They're really good with coffee. <laughs> I could literally listen to the birds all day. It's just amazing. So yeah, we are expecting, I think, some severe weather tonight. So one of the things we did was um, charge. We have a couple of like, li I can link some of our like severe weather prep stuff we have. Um, we don't have a generator. I know a lot of people we know do, um, but just a couple of like little things you can get like on Amazon, like some lights that are great. 
for bathrooms and stuff that aren't just a flashlight. We have a pack of six of those. Those are amazing. We've definitely utilized those during power outages. And then we also have this like box that you charge and it stays charged for quite a while. And it's got like USBs. It's got regular plugs like to plug in a lamp, a computer. That has been really nice because then you can charge your phone if you need to. You can plug in something you may need. Those are two little things we have for hopefully we do not need it tonight but um it's just nice to know you have at least something it's nothing big it's not a full generator but one day maybe we will do a generator but it's just so expensive and yeah we also do have a good cooler though so if it were ever long term we would just start piling stuff in the cooler <laughs> i'm so excited to thank today's video sponsor which is brooklinen so you guys know i've worked with brooklinen a lot they are the linen company for us like all of our sheets and duvet covers and pillowcases all of that are from brooklinen and now I can officially say that all of our towels are also from Brooklinen. We just upgraded our own towels. I just feel like investing in really high quality linens for your home, whether that's towels or bedding, is one of those ways that you can upgrade your life and the investment, like these products we have, especially our sheet sets we've had for so long. They wash well, they are withstanding the test of time. They still look brand new, even with two young kids and a stinky cute little doggy. <laughs> so for me, I feel like they're worth the investment because I'm not having to replace them all of the time. Like I have for many years with a lot of the towels and bedding that I've bought that were a lot cheaper, but they just don't hold up well. So right now Brooklyn is having their sleep week sale. So you can get 20% off site wide and up to 40% off their bundles, which I'm gonna talk about a couple bundles that I recommend. That's a big chunk, so it's a good time to shop. Now through March 20th, I'll have the link in my description box and in a pinned comment. So the newest addition from Brooklyn and to our life is their move-in towel bundle. And this is one that you can get up to 40% off because it is a bundle and it is the super plush towel line. It is their best selling line. These are the softest, most durable towels. I'm always telling people in my own life if I know they're in the market for towels or bedding, I'm like, you should try Brooklyn. <laughs> These are the kinds of towels that when your guests are here and they're washing their hands, they're drying it with the towel, they're flipping to see what the tag is because they're like, what? what is this really nice, like crazy soft, super thick and plush towel that I just dried my hands with? <laughs> It starts a lot of discussions, I will say. But their move-in towel bundle comes with four bath towels, four hand towels, and four washcloths, as well as a bath mat. We love it, I love this gray. This is the same color we have for the girls' bathroom, and we have been loving it, and I'm so jealous. So I'm like, all right, we need to upgrade our towels, because the towels Tyler and I have been using have been a, they are falling apart, but they were just random brands we bought here and there, just like mismatched sets from different brands. But they're made from 100% long staple Turkish cotton. You guys, these are so durable. We, like I said, the set we have for my girls, they have been washed and dried weekly for a long time now. There are no tears or snags or anything. Like they are just as good as new. It it blows my mind how well made these are. I also love that these are Ocotec certified. That means they've been tested for harmful substances. They have met the really strict criteria for safety for you and your family, which I love. I mean, towels, bedding, those are things that we're using all of the time. So it's nice to know that they are safe in that way. And Brooklinen has a lot of different colors and patterns to choose from, whether it's for their towels or their sheet sets and bundles in that way. By the way, if you are in the market for a sheet set or duvet cover, I recommend their Lux line. It is our personal favorite. If you're a hot sleeper, I recommend their Percale line. We have both. They're all so good, you can't go wrong. But again, I love that you can mix and match with those as well if you wanted some colors, some patterns. It's very customizable in that way. So again, if you're ready to upgrade your linens in your home, you can shop Brooklinen Sleep Week Sale now through March 20th. That gets you 20% off site wide and up to 40% off their bundles. I'll have the link down in the description box as well as in a pinned comment. Thank you so much, Brooklinen, for sponsoring this part of the video. Welcome to our messy bedroom as usual. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I've got a lot of laundry to fold. So just laid Lissy down for a nap. We went to see our friend in a show today. It was the cat in the hat. It was so cute. <laughs> and the girls were so good. It was a shorter, like very intentionally, obviously made for kids and it was adorable. So that wore Felicity out. Um, Genevieve and I are gonna make some muffins and I'm, I wanna share the recipe. I remember these being really good, um, but we're also watching Aladdin. I have not watched that movie in a while and it's just making me so happy. Alrighty, so this is what we're making. It's from, I found it on Yummy Toddler Food. I think it's like an Instagram account too that I follow. 
Uh, like I said, I remember it being really good, really moist. There's no flour and no like sugar specifically in it. There's honey, vanilla extract, cocoa powder. Then there's zucchini and spinach in it, which is an awesome way to sneak in some veggies. So we're gonna do the mini muffin style, I think. And you put them in the blender, which I find fascinating. So we've got our zucchini chopped up. I might cut up a little bit more because we have a lot of zucchini. And then some spinach that was just about to go bad. So I'm like, <laughs> perfect, we'll use that up. I think we've generally got most of the ingredients kind of around here. And of course we are watching Aladdin, which is awesome. And Tyler is baking some sourdough bread on the side that he'd already prepped to go in the oven. Yum. process ever. I cannot get this to like waz around properly. All right, so now we are putting some mini chocolate chips on top. It actually, once I finally got it done being mixed, these are the mini muffins and it's gonna make a lot more. It might even be double this amount, which is amazing. So they're pretty good. It reminds me of the smoothies we make, but with cocoa and different stuff involved, you know? All right, half of them are done. I was able to make almost another 24. So anyway, that's amazing. It makes a lot. I will say, with this first half of the batch, I just did the chocolate chips on top and not in it. I just ate one. They were really good, really moist, but they definitely, you end up wanting a little bit more sweetness. So for the second half of the batch, I ended up mixing chocolate chips in the batter and on top. So I'm gonna see how those taste, but really, really good. And especially, like I said, a way to have some hidden veggies in there, not only for maybe kids, but for yourself. <laughs> Does my mouth look chocolatey? I do think it's a little bit better with the chocolate chips mixed into the batter at the end, not blended in, but just mixed in like with a spatula or you know something, and then bake them that way, put some on top because it just adds that little bit of extra sweetness. The texture is interesting, almost fudgy is not really the right word, but kind of. And they kind of, like I said, you kind of taste the little bit of banana like it, but they're good. I don't know that everyone would like them. I like them. They remind me of the taste of our smoothies. So I think that's a piece of it. Tyler just had one. He really likes it. I'm going to go see if Shiji likes it. It's been a while since she's tried them. So we'll see. So I'm part of the way getting ready, I'm just finishing up. Um, but I wanted to show what I just used because it was really pretty. I put on, where is it? The Naturium Dew Glow Moisturizer. It's an SPF. I honestly, this is almost gone, which is exciting. And I was trying to pump it out and I couldn't get it. So I had to unscrew it and just squeeze it out. But um, really good hydrating moisturizer. Well, well I'm gonna say a hydrating facial sunscreen um, moisturizer. But I like it because it's not shimmery. Like it says do glow, but I would say it's just super hydrating and I'm loving the way my skin is looking with this. But I put it on top of the Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Coverage. This is really pretty as long as it is over a very hydrated base. Um, I'm working on a like foundation all-in-one type video very soon, like ranking a bunch of newer foundations to me and very excited about that. Um, the other things I put on, the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Contour Wand, I definitely liked it, blending it in with the sponge. I just don't know that it's the longest lasting. I'm still trying this out though, I'm still trying it out, but it's the one that's supposed to be kind of an alternative to the um, Charlotte Tilbury one. Then I use the one size, okay, this is called the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. I have the shade Fair 3. I rediscovered. This is like a little chat about rediscovered favorites. This is so good. I've been using it all week since I pulled it out of my drawer. And I definitely feel like you need to like tap it in and then set it with a little powder, which I'm gonna do in a second. But it is one of those that blends in so seamlessly every time and it always looks good. And if you've been wanting, or maybe you've even tried the Natasha Denona one that I love and you feel like it's a little too tacky, I think you would like this. This one's a little bit, very similar, similar coverage, but a little less tacky, sticky. I love this. So I'm honestly, I'm nearing the end and it's also getting old. So I'm like, I should probably buy another one, but this, I am a big fan of this concealer. What else? Oh, I put on the, I mix the Say Glowy Super Gel with the new e.l.f. blushes. Um, and by blushes, I mean blush. This one was in the shade Dusty Rosé. I did a little short on the blushes if you wanna see this and another one and kind of my more full thoughts. But mixing it, let me just show you, is really pretty. You could totally, I mean, this is the Say product. 
The e.l.f. Halo Glow is what I would have grabbed if it was right there because it does the same thing. But you just mix the blush and that together and it makes the prettiest kind of glowy look to it. And so I just tap that on my cheeks and I feel like it's really pretty. But I, we are definitely looking glowy so we're going to set. But I realized I haven't put anything in my brows. I'm going to use the Lawless Creamy Brow Wax. Love this stuff. So today I've got a little bit of stuff to film. I just, I was just spending some time this morning working and kind of planning out my next four or five weeks of content. So I, if you were curious, I plan my content out every month. And so I, there are a variety, a variety of factors that um, influence what I'm going to be filming about. But the one thing I appreciate about brands I work with since a lot of them are long-term contracts that I've, I've been working with them for years, their products I've loved for years. Because of that, they give me a lot of creative freedom on what videos I'm including them in. Um, I've gotten questions, I've addressed this before, but just to reiterate, I've gotten questions like, you know, Jessica, why, do you, why are your vlogs always sponsored? The short answer is I do vlogs a couple times a month. They're easy to throw a sponsor into. I could also throw that very same sponsor at the beginning of a makeup video, but there's something about, and this is my own thing, the way that it flows into a vlog where it just makes more sense to me that I choose to put them in vlogs. Like, I don't know that any of the brands I've worked with have, I would say very few times have they asked for their product to be featured in a specific type of video. Like sometimes, every once in a while I'll have a brand that'll say like, we don't want it in this style of video. Like some brands don't want it in vlogs, but that's why. So it's not that I'm only posting vlogs because they're sponsored. I am doing the vlogs and it works that that during the month makes more sense in a vlog than it would in another video. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Anyway, most of you guys probably either didn't notice or didn't care. I don't know. I wanted to put on, this is the, <laughs> I think it's getting a little old, the Smashbox Always On like Cream Shadow in the shade Rose. It's kind of a, I mean, kind of rose, but like a brown, whoa, almost like a mauve cream shade. Oh, that's a little darker than I put way too much, but I'm just gonna put some on my eyelid. I feel like this is just one of those products that can look really cool. And like, almost like you're not really trying. And that is why I like it. Like you just put a little bit on, it's a little bit darker than your skin tone, whatever color you might get. I just love that kind of shade. And then I'll just blend it in with a brush. So like looking at the difference, here I'll show you in natural light. Doesn't it look like it's a little something, but it, I mean, it took like two seconds, you know? Mm, I love that kind of color. Yeah, so I was planning out my content and I've got some videos that I've actually been working on a long time coming up. And those are always hard to figure out when to actually schedule them because they there's a lot of filming over the course of a few weeks for some of them. For example, my like crock pot meals video that's coming up. Um, you guys are gonna love it. It's like a dump and go. It's three different recipes, dump and go. Like you put all the ingredients in, turn it on and leave it type recipes. And so far, I'm, I'm making the third one this week, but so far they have been so good and I'm really ex excited about that video, but it takes a lot of time. So it's hard to schedule out exactly when that'll go live because I need the time. I'm also working on a um, foundations, like ranking new foundations type video. And I wanna show application and all of that for all the different ones. So that's definitely gonna take some time too. But, and I have a dupes video coming up, which I'm really excited about. Also, I've definitely entered the stage of like, after filming that perfectionism video, I have been thinking so much about so many of you guys' comments. And I got a few comments that said, and I've been dwelling on this a lot, but I think in a healthy way. People were saying, you know, well, I've always felt like, Jessica, you are someone that's hard to live up to. Like you kind of give off a, the vibe of having everything together and your house is always clean. And I'm like, oh my gosh, keep in mind, like, I don't know how to say this. With what I do, and I touch on this in the video too, like with what I do, for 11 years, I've gotten comments. If I ever have a mess in the background, people, you know, I'll get three or four comments in a video saying, you're such a slob, why wouldn't you clean up before filming? So when you get those kinds of comments over the years, over little things, they root into your brain. And so that I'm like, well then of course, anytime I sit to fit, sit down to film, I need to make sure my background is clean because I do care. I do care about my job, I do care. But I hadn't really thought a lot about the other side of that. Well then, if it's always looking clean, that, that kind of almost gives off that vibe that I'm, I mean, I am a perfectionist. There's, I mean, that's kind of what we were talking about, but you know what I mean? I, I don't want to give off that vibe because my 
house. <laughs> Let me just show you. Okay, come on. Let's flip the camera around. Always dirty laundry there. We've got just random things in piles there. Clothes I need to wash there. Junk over there. A random bucket I don't even know what from. Pinocchio's collar. Like, well, Pinocchio always in the, that's, that's nothing new. 50% of the time the bed's not made. And that's just my room. <laughs> my mom, they came, my parents came over the other day just kind of on a last minute random visit, which was lovely. And um, my mom looked around because there's just chaos. There's toys everywhere, you know, whatever dishes everywhere. I just, like I was trying to clean up the island and just break because there are crumbs everywhere. And I knocked with our giant cutting board, I knocked off my coffee cup and the coffee was perfect. I was so sad. And it shattered the coffee mug. Luckily it wasn't a meaningful coffee mug. My point is, my mom said, well, Jessica, it looks like you have uh, kids. And I was like, ain't that the truth? Like, I would never want to give off to you guys that I have got everything together because I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> and I myself can get bothered when I see, I guess, people like me. I don't know where it seems that they have it all together. And I know they don't. You know what I mean? Oh, did I want to put on like a little bit of a, I might do a little bit of a liner. Um, I've had to unfollow accounts that I feel like I can't relate to because I'm like, okay, well, my house doesn't look like that. But then knowing that you guys might look at me that way makes me sad. So my point is I'm going to try to be better about sharing that and not always cleaning up my background. And it's not because I don't care. I need to get over that. It's because I want you to be able to see, especially in a vlog where it's not a sit down, you know, I want you guys to be able to see that it is. It's not normal to have a house that's always perfectly clean and blah, 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 blah. And chances are, if my background looks clean, the area behind my camera that you can't see is is what is the mess. So, <laughs> but I wanted to reiterate that because after doing that video, like I said, I've been thinking about it a lot. So, and this is my year of being as authentic and real with you guys as possible. And yeah. So, all right, I'm going to finish getting ready and catch up with you guys in a minute. By the way, I use the uh, Thrive Cosmetics mascara. I just repurchased to be able to test it with something else, see if they're all if it's a dupe. And definitely reminded of how nice it is, but I feel like it definitely has a learning curve. And I had to like relearn it because you can't stack it on top. You know what I mean? So anyway, it's just been an interesting road of relearning this mascara. <laughs> but the other things I just used were the Physicians Formula Diamond Plumper, love this stuff. The Studio Fix MAC Press Powder. Um, I have it in the shade N4, if you were curious, but it's their Powder Plus Foundation. And then I was, again, rediscovering my love for the Bare Minerals Concealer in Light, or no, no, in Bisque. So good, adds coverage, it's like a loose powder, and I have loved this for so long. And then I think everything else you'd already, I already talked about, but yeah. Oh, the other thing I used was the Milani Stay Put Tank Eyeliner in brown. I definitely don't think it is itself. Can I get this to brown? I mean, that looks pretty black to me. A little bit brown, but not, not really. <laughs> so yeah, that is the makeup I wore today. share some book reviews with you guys because I have finished one, two, three, wait, isn't there a fourth book in there that I finished? Hold on. You guys could see the mess. I have like a lamp on the floor. <laughs> one day I'll get this area squared away, but right today is not that day. All right. So let's talk through them because it's kind of been a weird mix of things that I've read. So the first book I read in 2024 was Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. And it is one of the better just novels where, you know, it follows a relationship, a friendship slash relationship through their lives. And I have read a lot of stories that are similar to this, but this was one of the better ones, I have to say. And basically, again, there will be no spoilers because a lot of these I would want you guys to read. But basically, this girl and boy were friends when they were younger and they love to read books together and there's just they talk a lot about that and it's just so sweet and endearing and cozy and then as they get older like something happens they go their own ways and now they meet again 
older. And so the book goes through, and by older, I mean like just adults. The book goes kind of back and forth between back in the past when they were kids and today. And I just really liked the book. It was one of those books that was just enjoyable to read. And I think a lot, if you just like novels, you will you will most likely not like this novel and you'll probably read it quickly. So it's definitely one I would recommend. The other book on a very different topic I read was When Breath Becomes Air. And that one follows, I wanna make sure I get the name right. So it was written by Paul Kalanithi, who is a neurosurgeon who wrote this book when he basically found out he was dying. It's not a spoiler. I mean, they they start with that. I don't know. I expected to read this book and feel really sad. And I definitely have felt a certain way, but it almost gives you a glimpse into what it looks like to be the one going through something like this and his thought process. And I feel like one of the things, the big takeaways I took away from it was that hiding behind a veneer of fear that veneer is lifted when you literally have nothing to lose. And so a lot of his words are just so poignant because he knows he's most likely not going to survive. And um, I think it's one of those books that everyone should read just to give you a different viewpoint on certain things. It was just a really beautiful book. And it's it's sad, but it's it's not so sad that you're, I mean, I just think it's a really good book to read. I listened to some of the audiobook, um, and of course it was not him reading the audiobook, but it was, it's just a really good book. If You Would Have Told Me by John Stamos. Okay, <laughs> I liked this book, but my reasoning is that I am the ideal audience for this book because I loved Full House. I love musical theater, which he talks a lot about. And I love Disney parks, which he talks a lot about Disney land. I'm the perfect audience for it. I think if you don't care strongly about any of those things, it's not gonna be the book for you. I love celebrity memoirs, but some of them are better than others. This was one that was entertaining, but it's not gonna be one of those that you're gonna, there's not a lot of life truths in it or anything like that, like you'd get from Viola Davis's book, um, even Matthew McConaughey's book. I know some people loved that, some people hated it. I really liked Matthew McConaughey's book. I will say it's entertaining in that he shares a lot of details about celebrities that he's met and like moments in his life and not a lot of celebrities do that I, like I said I would consider myself a connoisseur I've read a lot of celebrity memoirs I don't know why I'm just not even celebrities but I'm just interested in memoirs that's what I should say because it's not always like a famous actor but I'm looking at my notes I typed up so I didn't forget any of this stuff what's interesting is you know he'd bring up different celebrities but it never felt braggy like he definitely is self-deprecating a good amount. And he just seems like a really likable guy. Like he genuinely seems like a good guy. He has been through some stuff though. And he does talk about um, some of those things. When I got to the end of it, I felt like, oh, I thought he'd circle back to some of those really big, pretty public events that he went through. I thought he would kind of delve into those more and he didn't. And that felt odd to me. It felt a little unfinished, but the book itself, like I said, was entertaining but I think you got to be the right audience for it. The Fourth Wing. So I started that and I'm still reading the second book that just came out at the end of last year called Iron Flame. I really liked it. <laughs> I like to describe it to people as Harry Potter meets um, Hunger Games meets Court of Thorns and Roses. <laughs> it's like the perfect amalgamation. And the Harry Potter-esque, it's basically, again, no spoilers, but a um, young woman is going to this school, being forced to go to, I'm going to call it a school, but basically this training program to become a dragon rider. It is grueling. It is really hard, almost militaristic, but not quite. But the school part of it really gives gives Harry Potter. It's not exact, but just a little bit. But the way, the how ruthless everyone is gives me that Hunger Games feeling. And then just the dragons and all of that and some of the romance in it gives Akatar or A Court of Thorns and Roses. I think a lot of people would like this book. Definitely has spicy parts. So if you're not looking for that, yeah, just, you know, I like to share that. Um, Iron, Iron, why did I say it like that? Iron Flame, the second book. Is that what it's called? I feel like I'm, that's not it. I'm enjoying it. They're long books. So it's taking me forever to get through because I've just, the only time I read is at night in bed and Iron Flame. Yeah. Okay. By the way, these are by Rebecca Yaros. 
I just really like her writing style. I feel like it's really easy to understand. It's not super heady or anything like that. Definitely fantasy, but it's really just fun to read. So if you're not into fantasy, I think I still think you'd like it. I don't think you need to like fantasy to like this book. Um, whereas like when I compare the fourth wing to the Akatar series, Akatar feels a lot more slightly higher level fantasy. I mean, I still think it was easy to read, but if I'm comparing, I think Fourth Wing is easier to read. It's more of an, not entry level, as in, I don't even know that much about fantasy, but that's just the what I've kind of gleaned comparing them. So the only other book I was gonna mention, but I still have not finished it, is Lessons in Chemistry. I'm really enjoying that. I'm doing it with the book club with some girlfriends and I'm just about finished, but not finished enough, I don't think, to talk about it, but I am enjoying it, so, you know. You may notice I didn't rate these. I really struggle with rating books. I feel like anytime I'm rating them on my own, like on Goodreads for my like private account with my friends, I struggle with it. My friends will make fun of me that I'll either overrate them, give everything five stars. So now I've scaled back. But now that I've just read a lot more over the years, I feel like my grading system or my rating system has been just adjusted, kind of calibrated. So now I'll look back on books I read long ago and I'm like, okay, that was not as good as this book I've read recently. And now I know, I don't know. So I, I, I struggle to rate them. So hopefully just my sharing those was helpful. But I'm gonna end the vlog here because I think Tyler's just about here. We're gonna have a quick lunch. I've got a little bit more to do. And then we were actually going to see Mamma Mia tonight and I'm really, really excited. So gonna get ready for that. Get the girls all set up for bed for their Funkle Jason is coming over and they are so excited. Thank you again to Brooklyn and of course for sponsoring a part of this video. If you want to check out Brooklyn and maybe you need new sheets, new bedding, new towels. Uh, I will have the link below to shop their sleep week sale. Again, it's now through March 20th. It's 20% off site wide and up to 40% off of bundles. Thank you, Brooklyn. And thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you want to check out my vlogs, I'll link my playlist as always. See if you missed any in there and I love you all and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.